All right, week two, we got split cleans and heavy half squats. I have been sick for the last two weeks. Today's the first day where it feels like I'm on the, I'm over the hump of the sickness, so my energy levels are way higher than they've been all training cycle. Feeling good, it's warm out here in Florida. Super excited to lift some heavy weights. Let's get it. Finally, bought some new chalk after like a year and a half. I have finally used up all the old chalk. For those of you guys that don't use chalk, this is literally my number one gym, gym hack. Especially out here in Florida, it gets super humid, hands get sweaty. This legit adds like 20 pounds to my power clean. Two point five nine meters per second. I'm like 2,000 flat on the power, 2,072 watts, not bad. That might be the highest bar speed I've had. Nice. That was fast. 25.90 peak power, 2.59 meters per second peak velocity. Sheesh. Yeah, that might be my best numbers yet. Shit. I beat it with 225. Woo. Bro, now I gotta do, I gotta do three sets now. We're at 270 on a split clean. This thing is ridiculous. Oh my God. Highest peak power, oh my goodness. That is crazy. I just hit some of the highest wattages of all time with 270, which is 85% of my max. Just bananas, putting up banana numbers right now. The peak wattages were like the same as 225, which is like 70% for me. It's ridiculous. That first rep was slow, bro. Hella slow. Whew. It's like 0.3 meters per second slower. Whew. Take a big rest here. This is what the OVR is good for right there. 
Because you can, you can look at the data and be like, you're being a bitch. Man, it feels good to be training like an athlete and not doing all that. Not doing all that slow strength stuff. Finally feel, body's feeling good, knees are feeling good, moving well, not feeling sick. This is the stuff I like right here. But it's at moments like this is where shit goes wrong. Because I start flying too close to the sun. I start feeling like a superhero. Jump without warming up well, jump for way too long. So when you're feeling good, that's the time when you have to be the most careful because that's when you're most at risk for injury. So specifically for the dunk sessions, gotta keep it short, stick to the rules, we're good. Oh yeah, that was a good one. Oh yeah, really good numbers. 2.15 peak velocity, 2579 watts. Let's go. Way better. Woo! All right, time to set up for squats. Before I started THP, I could touch 11 feet and nine inches. Now I can touch 12 feet and 3.5 inches. A big reason I was able to make that progress is because I knew what plyos to do and when to do them. And then I also had to get a lot stronger. Getting stronger is like putting a bigger engine inside of a car. And then knowing what plyos to do and when to do them is like putting a supercharger on top of that engine. However, if you don't know how and when to implement those variables, you're going to get Hurt. We've been able to dial that process down by training thousands of athletes over the last 10 years. As a matter of fact, based on polls we've taken, the average athlete gains four inches of vertical in six months. And because of those stats, I have a guarantee for you. If I don't help you increase your vertical by at least three inches in the next six months, I'll coach you for free until you do. So if you're ready to get started, sign up and you're gonna get on a call with a coach within 24 hours. You're gonna get customized daily workouts, a private group chat with me and the coaches where you can ask us questions about anything training related 24 seven, jump technique analysis, lifting technique analysis, an entire jump training course that goes in depth on the science behind jump training, guides on how to rehab the most common injuries when it comes to jumping, and video calls with the coach of your choice at THP twice per month, and much, much more. If you're interested, go to thpstrength.com and use the code THP for 10% off of your first month. See you on the other side. Forgot to put the. I was like, damn, that thing feels light. Everything you've ever trained for has led up to this moment. Don't let me down.
Yo, that second rep went too low by accident. Oh, I almost died there. Time for my last three sets. See the calf raise. We got 220 on the machine. Whew. I opted out of the last set of squats because that was my first time half squatting. A long ass time. A lot of loading on my lower back. Higher intensity than I've seen this whole cycle. Higher volumes than I've seen this whole, this whole cycle without doing that last set. So I was like, let me not go to Snap City and uh, save some juice for next week because I got to come back and do even more each week. That's the thing about when you train with us each week has to get harder so for my guys out there that keep asking me if they can do more weight than what's listed you can just remember that if you do you have to do even more for next week whether that's in terms of intensity or volume so let's get the success reworking Yeah, my calves are feeling strong, boy. Ah. Woo, that is heavy. Sheesh. Get it. Ah. Last accessory of the day, baby. Ah. All right. One more. Come on. Straight into it. <clears throat> ah. Oh, burning. My ass is on fire. We out. Like the video.